the spirit of Sodom on our children and soon the famine of the word. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ramachach, Rabash, that belongs to my elders, that great millstone, taught me truth to the spirit, seeking honesty, and that, pissing blessing to the one third, and confusion the faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. Christian teachers still locked out of the classroom after refusing to lie to parents' lawsuit. For those who don't know, you have children who, if they identify as a certain pronoun, so to say, right, they can actually go along with uh, the treatment or the, the process of changing their gender without their parents' consent. And you have these Christian teachers. And one thing I won't do in this video, I will not question their belief. Like the scripture says, people do have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But they know that there was created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And they're not with lying to children's parents about what their children are doing without their consent. But it's like the government now wants to be the parent. And that's pretty much what they're saying in this article. I'll leave the article of this video, I'm sorry, of this um, of this news article in the next news article in the description box. Because these teachers have had decades of experience at these schools. You know, think about it. They're like, they're well known. And they've been locked out of their classrooms for six months. And two months of those was after a federal court hearing. And they're saying that that's illegal. So they're fighting for the cause of that which is logical and rational. I'm talking about even in a in a natural in a natural essence of just being a human being and, re, and reproducing and procreating. They're trying to change that, you know, and they're being barred from their classes. And this um, prompted me to bring out this precept, Isaiah three and nine. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as something they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. And that's another reason why we're out there preaching on the word. Because the scripture clearly says that we seek for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And it's at the point where and you got to remember the Bible Belt, you know, the Dixie line. A lot of them people y'all call white boys, crackers and all that, man. A lot of them jakes. A lot of them jakes. You know, I was talking to um, an old head at my job. <laughs> you know, you know, we call them old head. You know, at the um, cats you call aunt, they be at the liquor store or whatever. They be on the block, right? <clears throat> and that's this quote unquote white dude that, um, they pull up to my job, and he he has this nice Kia, man. Oh man, it's nice Kia, or well, real nice, like one of the street racing ones. And he always he like about six four, like built, like he go to the gym a lot. And he had this young Judah chick with him, and the old head tapped me like, look, 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 he got him a young one, young sister. I said, I'm be honest with you, man. A lot of them boys you see like that. I said, one thing you know, man, you can't fake the spirit, brother. I said. A lot of them really be, I said, a lot of them really be niggas, man. I said, if you think about them Irish boys and a lot of them Scottish boys, and he said, you're right, you're right. And we just nodded our head and kept working. So, you know, a lot of these, you know, you know how we talk in name of terms, you know, Negroes, niggas, and all that, you know, whatever. Anyways, just go to Acts 13 and 1. Hey, for side note, if uh, a so-called white person ever call you a nigger, don't, don't even be upset. Acts 13 and 1 says that Barnabas and Paul were all called Negro, meaning that they all were known as to be black. So it's really a compliment because they really worship us, but they don't even know it. Anyway, that's another story. So anyhow, but yeah, a lot of these white folks, so look, so called looking white folks, really um Israelites, and they're against this man. They're against this um Sodom and Gomorrah spirit. But you gotta remember, um Revelation. Yep, I thought I forgot about this one. I forgot, but mind bring this up real quick. I'm doing this raw, y'all. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. 
it says spiritually. So this is we're talking about a great city. This is the mystery hall of Babylon. America is that great city. And the spirit of America is Sodom and Egypt. Sodom goes back to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, you know, same sex and bestiality, right? Zophilia. And also the first state in America to approve of same sex marriage was I believe it's Massachusetts. And the slogan for Massachusetts, like the slogan for Florida is the Sunshine State, right? The slogan for Massachusetts would be the spirit of America. Hmm. You can't make that up. So the spirit of America, the first state, is the one that legalized uh, same sex marriage, which goes back to it being spiritually Sodom. And Egypt is the first is the first um land where the Israelites, we so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans were captives there. I.e., we had the great captive here in America, which is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. And you look at the back of the dollar bill, you see the pyramid, the all seen eye or the eye of Horus, uh, the Washington Monument, you know, the Obelix, uh, um, the Lincoln Memorial, which is also synonymous with the picture of a, of a pharaoh sitting down. It's just so many, so many, so many correlations. Right? And um, it says we're also our Lord was crucified because upon arrival here in America, they forced us to believe that the Lord's son looked like a pale faced, stringy, doggy, blonde hair, blue eyed man who actually was a real man named Caesarea Borgia, who was actually the son of Pope Alexander, sixth, sixth Pope of Rome. All right, Rodrigo. Okay. You know, a little side note, but yeah, that's what Revelation 11 and 8 stands for. But really, the emphasis of this scripture is, is spiritually something. And that's what America is, spiritually something. That's what America is. And this is why we go out and preach, because we're talking about judgment. A gruesome judgment is going to come, to not only to the heathens, of course, but to two-thirds of our people who don't repent. All right? Because salvation is only for the Israelites. Um, so, like, this one look for. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh despise dominion and speak evil of dignities so think about these christian teachers i'm just saying i'm using it for an example let's be evil of them because they got some dignity about them themselves man it's like how we go out there and profess the name of yahweh bashim al shai and make ourselves living sacrifices because we truly disdain a wicked society you know the wicked is against the righteous and the righteous is against the wicked only thing that makes us righteous is that the Lord chose us and we're doing his will. That's the difference. Not because of our own works, which we, which we shall be saved by our works, but our works is mixed in with faith. That's the difference. That's the difference. When you read the article, these teachers say that, you know, they, they believe in the law and everything like that. I mean, come on, man. You know, so they, they're holding firm unto their belief and and this article right here i'm gonna put that up there huh all the ads everything is all about money y'all everything is about money 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 all the ads you see all about money 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 <laughs> the root of all evil lay down i want to see your ugly face anyhow so a woman arrested after driving her vehicle through a religious group on a sidewalk, Montana police say. And the people that were standing on the sidewalk, um, I think they called themselves Israelis in Christ or something. And, and they said that it was racially motivated. But the reason why I wanted to bring this out, because remember, we're out there in the highways and byways. So, you know, you got to be circumstant, brothers. And keep this in mind, Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord, the angel of Yahweh, it campeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So when we're out there in the highways and byways, man, remember the angel of the Lord is always with us. 
it's nothing for us to fear. But I mean, a, a dude got clipped. You know, he was injured. It was a minor injury. But when you hear somebody get hit by a car, you think about him getting plowed or something. It could have went any way. But just imagine it being one of us out there, which I would not want it to happen. But you got to be circumspect. You got to keep your eyes on the prize, man. And I'm going to close out with this. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right? Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And what is the will of the Lord? Well, how shall I say that? Thy will in heaven shall be done here on earth. And what's in heaven? Order. Order. And the only way you can have order is with obedience. And that comes with the law. You go to your job, you have to be in order in order for you to keep your job. If you're not in order, you become delinquent. And then there's disciplinary actions, i.e. we went into slavery. Because we didn't want to stay in order. We were disobedient to our power. So nonetheless, when the Lord come back, we know his will is to do what? To have a righteous kingdom of society. So two marches I live by. One, and this is daily. One, offend less. And two, I pray the most I take not the Holy Spirit away from me. All right. So with that being said, pray was fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Go Masha'Allah. Buffalo Babal. Shalom.